Welcome to Story Time. Today we're reading Pirate Pups. I hope you enjoy the story. One day, while exploring the cliffs above Adventure Bay, Captain Turbot slipped and fell down a dark hole. At the bottom, he discovered an old pirate hideout. He was stuck in the creepy cavern, but he knew who could help him. The Paw Patrol! Ryder called the Paw Patrol to the lookout and told them about Captain Turbot. He's stuck in a cavern filled with pirate stuff and he thinks it might be the hideout of the legendary Captain Blackfur, Ryder said. No one knows what he looked like or what happened to his treasure. Ryder needed chase and rubble for the rescue but he told the rest of the pups to be ready just in case. Rubble was excited. He really wanted to be a pirate. Ryder, Chase and Rubble raced to the cliffs and found the hole. Chase, Ryder said. I need your winch hook to lower me into the cave. Chase is on the case. He pulled the hook over and Ryder locked it on to his safety belt. Chase carefully lowered Ryder into the dark hole. The pups joined Ryder and Captain Turbot down below. Using Chase's spotlight, they found cool pirate stuff, a spyglass, a flag, and a real pirate hat. Ryder put the hat on Rubble's head. Arr, said Rubble, shiver me timbers. Chase sniffed the air. I smell seawater, he said. He followed the scent and discovered a secret passage. But it was blocked by rocks. That must be the way to the beach, said Ryder. Stand back, landlubbers, said Rubble, as he cleared the way with his digger. Ryder and the pups followed the passage to a beach. They found an old bottle with part of a map inside it. Is it a pirate treasure map? Rubble asked. Could be, said Ryder. We need all paws on deck to solve this mystery. Ryder called the rest of the pups to the beach and told them that the map had been torn into three pieces. There's a clue to where we'll find the next piece, he said. The part of the map that you seek hides in the big parrot's beak. The pups thought about the clue. Suddenly, Rocky said, Those boulders at the bottom of Jake's mountain kind of look like a parrot. Let's check it out, Chase barked. The team hurried to the rocks that looked like a giant parrot. Sky flew up and found a bottle in its beak. Another piece of the map was inside. Rocky taped the pieces together and Ryder read the next clue. From a top parrot rock, look toward the sea. A clue hides in the hollow of a very big tree. If we can solve that clue, Ryder said, we should find Blackfur's treasure. Chase thought for a moment. The biggest trees around are in Little Hootie's forest. Good thinking, Ryder exclaimed. The forest was filled with lots of big trees. So Chase asked Little Hootie, if he had seen an old bottle in any of the branches. He had. Little Hooty fluttered up to a hole high in a tree. Marshall drove his fire truck to the base of the tree, extended the ladder and climbed up. Little Hooty was right, he said. He took down a bottle that contained the last piece of the map. Rocky taped the pieces together. They now had the whole map. 
Ryder read the final clue. Walk twenty paces from the tree toward setting sun and rising sea. Ryder turned to face the sun and the sea, and he started walking. From the edge of the cliff, Ryder and the pups saw something amazing through the fog. It was an old pirate ship next to a deserted island. Do you think it's Captain Blackfish's ship? Rubble asked. The Paw Patrol worked together to pull the ship onto the beach. News of the find spread through Adventure Bay. Mayor Goodway and her pet chicken, Chickaletta, came to see the exciting discovery. On board, Ryder, Captain Turbot and the pups found an old treasure chest. Inside were coins, jewels, a gold bone and even a fancy dog bowl. Why would a pirate captain have a dog bowl? Marshall asked. Then, digging through the treasure, Ryder found an old picture of Captain Blackfur. Captain Blackfur was a pirate pup. He looks just like me, except with a black fur beard, Rubble exclaimed. The team let out a mighty arrr. Three cheers for the pirate pups of the Paw Patrol. The end. I hope you liked the story and thank you for listening. Join us again for more stories from Teaching Your Child.